Welcome to another episode of Creative Cooking. I'm your host, David Santos. And today we're going to make Italian bread from scratch. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to start off with a half a cup of warm water. I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of sugar. There's three and a half teaspoons here of granulated sugar. And yeast, we'll need about a tablespoon and a half of bread yeast. Okay. And what you want to do with this is just give it a quick stir. You want to dissolve the sugar. The warm water and sugar will help the yeast to proof. So while that's proofing, we'll go ahead and start making out the flour and all the other ingredients that we need. Okay, so we've gathered our ingredients and um, yeah, we've given this a chance to rise. I want you to see what that looks like in there. See, it's nice and foamy. It smells like bread almost. So now we know that the yeast is good, we're going to add the other three tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of salt, two cups of, well, let's do the flour first. We want to put about two cups initially. This is five cups of flour. Okay. And then we'll add two cups of hot water. That's tap water. That's hot. Okay. And this is a half a cup of, of oil. And what I did is I used a mixture of olive oil and vegetable oil because I like the way it gives the bread a nice flavor. And we'll put the dough hook on here. Okay, and then we'll put the machine down, lock it so it's safe, and uh, we'll turn that on. We want to start mixing it. We'll give it a nice stir. And then we want to continue adding flour to this. So we'll put two more in there. You'll end up using all five. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more flour to this, okay? About, uh, oh, it was good to keep the flour out because you're never really done with it. Not when you're baking anyway. And we will turn that back on. And what we want it to do is continue to knead, but only for another minute or two. We want that flour to be fully incorporated into the dough. And uh, I don't know if you can see that. I think you can. Yes. You'll see that the dough is actually beginning to rise off the, off the edges. It's getting... Where before it was more like it was stirring the dough. Now it's actually turning into a dough. And that's exactly how we want it to be. Okay, it's going to still be sticky and wet. And that's fine. We expect that. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Let me speed it up a little. Okay. All right, so let me show you how that looks. See how it's wet and sticky? And that's okay. That's the way, that's the way it's going to be, right? A lot of moisture in here. And the bowl is kind of warm, too which we do want. And that is the secret to this bread, really, is to use warm water. As warm as you can get it, but not, not boiling, because then you, you would you'd kill the yeast, which is why you don't use hot, super hot water, but hot tap water works beautifully. That keeps the temperature down and will accelerate, okay, <laughs> I like that word, accelerate the, um, the rising of the bread. So we can take the dough hook off, and then we're going to cover that what I like to do when I'm rising this, and this will take about an hour, is put a piece of saran wrap over the bowl because that's going to rise beyond the height of this bowl. I guarantee you that. It'll be up here someplace. And so it'll be a lot easier to remove that than, <laughs> than the towel if it's all sticky with, with all of that. So just put the saran wrap down and then the towel on top of that 
you'll want to let this rise for at least an hour. All right, so it's it's been an hour. Whoa, look at that, huh? Isn't that beautiful? It's nice and bubbly. Look at that. This is exactly how it's going to look, right? And this is the reason why we didn't put the towel over that. We wanted to use this so that it would not stick to the towel. You'd have a hell of a time getting it off, that's for sure. And we're just gonna punch that down. See how sticky that is? Look at all the air bubbles. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so the next thing you need to do is turn this out on the counter with some, some bench flour. And I'll show you all about that in just a second. I have to reposition the camera. All right, so here we are. Now, I just wanna tell you that it's not because I don't have the counter space in the house to do this. I just don't have a good counter to do the filming. So I use my glass top. My glass top stove serves as a work surface and it works out really good for rolling out dough and doing all kinds of things. So we're using, just so, so you know, this is bench flour. Now there's no difference between this and the flour that's in there. It's bench flour because we have it for dusting and for rolling. So if you ever hear that term bench flour, now you know. And then this is our dough. And what we want to do here is just turn this out onto the work surface, okay? It's already been kneaded, so. But there is a step here that you need to understand. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this out onto the, the work surface. Okay. All right, beautiful thing. And this dough, as you can see, is still very, very wet and sticky. We're gonna go ahead and hit that with some flour. Because what we wanna do here is sort of knead it just a little bit more. Not too much, just a little. Enough to the point where we can work with it. So we need to continue adding some flour to it all over the work surface, you see? It's very sticky. Okay, look at that. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, right? Look at that, look at that. All right, and then using pastry cutter, just go about halfway through, like so, right? And just cut it, because we're gonna make two loaves. And to do that, we are going to, we're gonna roll them out. So take the dough and just stretch it out like so. Okay, you wanna roll it out kind of thin, just like that. Just spread it, spread it like so. We want it to go the long way, okay? And this may seem like an unnecessary step, what I'm about to do, but it's not. This is actually very important, okay? What you wanna do is just take this and roll it up like this, okay? Tuck in those corners. I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> there was one more little detail here. You wanna take a very sharp knife and cut some little crisscrosses in here. It needs to be sharp too, so make sure. Make sure you sharpen that knife before you do this. All right, just slit it like that. And you know that you got in good because it's like this. Now, you gotta understand, this isn't just for looks. When you slip the, the dough like this, you have to allow the crust that forms on the outside to expand. If you don't cut some kind of slit, either lengthwise or crosswise like this, in this case, diagonally, um, yeah, it, it'll have a tough time expanding and it'll, your bread won't, won't be as, as fluffy, if you know what I mean. So yeah, make sure that you you cut those slits. It's very important. Go ahead and recover. You're gonna let these sit for half an hour. They will rise. And then we're gonna brush them with, with uh, some egg, some beaten egg and water as a, uh, a glaze. And then we're gonna put them in the oven. Okay, now I believe that I already showed people how to do this in a different video. This 
is to ensure that you get a nice, smooth egg wash. Okay? Get your egg, put it through that strainer, just like that. Oh, wait a minute, that's the thin strainer. Oh, there it goes. See it? And you're probably going to say, Dave, why are you doing this? Well, because you want to get any stray egg white or that little white thing that's attached to the egg white and the egg yolk. You want to get rid of that for your egg wash. You don't want anything to mess up your egg wash, okay? So pull that out, add some water, okay? Give it a mix. Right, give that a good mix. Now you have a nice, smooth egg wash. And you're gonna paint that on not only once, but twice. So here's what we're gonna do. We've got about three or four minutes left to go on the oven preheat. Oh, look at that one. That one, that one just has a mind of its own over there. That's all right, we don't care about that, do we? No, of course not. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna brush this on. And try not to push down too much on this because that dough has risen again. Okay, and that's uh, pretty important. Now you don't need to put it in the center there. You can just put it on the outside, like this. And uh, sometimes I do this twice. I don't do it just once. I let it kind of soak in and then I go back and do it again if I have leftover wash, which I probably will. And one other little thing I want you to do. I'm gonna grab myself a small pan. It's a very small pan at that. I got out of frame here for a second because I'm gonna take this, this little pan of water, okay? And I'm gonna put that on the bottom rack of the stove. And you might say to yourself, well, Dave, what the heck are you doing that for? Well, I'll tell you why. Professional bakeries have humidifiers in their ovens, in case you didn't know. And what that does is it, it helps the bread to develop a nice crust. So that's why we're doing it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to set that timer to 25 minutes, because I want to check that timer after 25 minutes. And if it needs it, I'll leave it in there for another five. See you then. All right, so I just took these out of the oven a few minutes ago, and they are gonna slide pretty much right off. And what we want to do really is we want to cool them off just a bit on these, these uh, cooling racks. Same racks that you use for your cookies, right? And you just wanna cool them off a little bit. See, now they're a little white on the edges and that's because they were touching in there. But uh -huh, I'm gonna let you know a little secret. When you're making uh, dinner rolls, one of the ways that they get nice and soft is the fact that they're touching each other. But that's another video and it's not the same recipe either. So make sure you come back to this channel because I'll be making brioche buns and all kinds of goodies, okay? Because I've done a lot of baking and I enjoy baking and I enjoy eating fresh baked goods. All right, we're gonna let those cool for a couple of minutes and I'll see you for the money shot. Okay, it's time for the money shot. I'm gonna use this old Ginsu knife from like the 1970s because I don't have a proper bread knife. You need something with a serrated edge when you cut bread, okay? And this is what it looks like on the inside. It's beautiful and it's steamy. I don't know if you can see that steam, but yeah, it's only been sitting here on the stove top for about 10 minutes. And, oh, you gotta look at that, isn't that beautiful? Look at that, look at that, right? Not too dense and not too airy. But more importantly, you're getting this straight out of the oven and there's nothing and I say there is nothing like bread straight from the oven, okay? So you let it sit for a little while and that butter just melts in there. You fold it up like this. And I gotta tell you something, folks. This is a piece of heaven right here. So join me for the next video because I'll be making brioche rolls. 
I'll be making all kinds of beautiful things to eat. You don't want to miss it. Join us every Sunday and Wednesday for more great videos for people who like to cook. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you and have a great day.